so guys good morning to all y'all um so i get money from social security as um my dad being in the army um vietnam war and stuff like that that's why i get social security and for my um autism they only give you like nine hundred dollars a month to live off of and so i have to have that money to survive on being out here and she knows that too but sometimes people can get money hungry i don't know what it is with her because um i clean the house up um i cleaned my room up yesterday we was cleaning we took out that table um he put it downstairs because we're gonna be putting a dresser like in my room and um so i can put my clothes in most of my clothes are hang up on hangers i mopped my floor yesterday i was cleaning up i washed all my laundry yesterday um i swept the stairs down yesterday i done my dishes up and sometimes i do their dishes um i put them in the dishwasher and stuff like that i was helping her clean when she moved in the house it was all messy and unorganized because he had some girl living there um so i was helping them and everything like that and then i started giving her money like she wanted like four hundred dollars at first and then i was like well can i just give you three hundred dollars because that's a lot of money and she was like cool yeah sure and so i started giving her money three hundred dollars to stay there i actually gave her six hundred dollars because i doubled it so I'll, i would have extra money left to have to spend on personal needs that stuff i need done um and long as i'm paying my rent paying my rent as she's telling me to do she doesn't have nothing to complain about to me about me going outside because first of all i'm 39 years old i can go outside when i want to go outside as long as my stuff is taken care of you know and she got like some type of like control thing going on with her that i'm seeing and it's not gonna work with me because i don't got time for all that stuff she texted me yesterday talking about where am i like what are you talking about where am i and then i talked to her i was like why i was like i'm walking why and she was like well we need to talk and so that concerned me so i called her and i was like did something bad happen and she was like, nah, we just need to talk about the house and all this type of stuff. And I'm like, well, I was just doing housework yesterday, Then What else needs done? Because the house, I don't think the house is that bad as she's making it. Um, it's Saturday today. Um, I mean, yesterday was Saturday. So I was just thinking of going walking. I uh, gotta take daily walks to um, exercise my legs. It's a daily thing to get exercise. And I'm not messing my daily routine up because she doesn't want me to go outside. Or even if I'm done cleaning, I can still go outside like She's like treating me like a child, I feel. Just because I have autism. I'm not a child. I'm a grown person. I'm not used to people telling me stuff. I'm used to doing stuff on my own. Living my life when I was in my apartment. Going out when I want to go out. Not nobody telling me nothing. Paying my bills on time when I had my apartment and doing my own thing not worrying about people telling me what to do 
because I don't like people trying to control other people. I mean, like, I do everything there that I need to be doing. There's no reason for her to be saying, where am I, and all this type of stuff. And she's talking about, I don't know if she's trying to gain extra money out of me, but she's talking about, I'm going to, like, hire a, um, some maid. And she's talking about, I need to come up with 200 more dollars. I'm like whatever man i'm not giving no extra money two hundred dollars for no maid because that is not my decision that's your decision you can pay for that you want a maid so bad get you a maid pay for it yourself other than that or mop the floor up like you tell me do what i have to do but i'm darn sure not paying for no maid you said i was obligated to pay rent only and that's what he said in a letter. Rent. Any damages are paid for. But I'm not damaged or nothing. I'm paying my rent. So I have the right to go outside. Without her asking where I'm at. Like, it's ridiculous. And the dogs, they poop on the floor and stuff like that. I really don't want to be cleaning that stuff up because it's not my dog. It's their dogs. He, she wants to boss him around. Tell him what to do all the time. Go ahead. But you're not going to do it with me. I freaking leave this town like Tennessee. I don't want to stay here anyway. Go to California or something. Make something out of my homelessness, being that I don't, if I would have to come homeless again, I'll go to California, somewhere else. Cause Time is too short not to see other places. And I'm trying to like maintain here, but it's getting kind of annoying because she's controlling. She was like, when I was like talking about going back to that area where I was homeless at, Augie, Tennessee, her apartment, she was talking about, we're not gonna be having time to go outside. We're gonna help me pack like all day long. I'm like, my regular normal way is to help you pack, get everything done, and then be able to go outside still. Not treat me like a child controlling. And you know, like, I only get so much money. Why are you, why are you even asking me for more money to buy stuff like that if you know, like, I don't have enough money to live off of anyway. And I have to like, 
only get a little bit of money on food stamps. $58, they went down um, because they're not, they're not really optional to help you out here. They're stingy. They don't care about you being having a disability or having not enough to eat on. They just are stingy people here. Messed up city. That's why I don't like it here. Um, and she knows I don't make enough money. So why are you asking me for my money? And I don't want to think about she's like asking that to get extra money out of me. You're the one that wanted the maid, so you can pay for it yourself. Like, and if he's want to play for it, that's him. I'm not doing that, so she might as well get that out of her head. That's what I was telling her. Like, I'm not paying that. She was like, "Well, you need to keep the house clean. You need to get this house together. I'm not about cleanness. It's about getting together how she wants it." And she's like rushing everything like complaining about everything talking about well y'all want to walk he wants to go fishing like what do you expect us to want to do like we don't want to sit in the house all day long after i'm cleaning i'm going outside to take a walk i'm not going to be sitting in the house all day long people want to do stuff they don't want to sit around not a freaking kid because of that autism just because I act a certain way I have freaking autism don't she have any respect went to the food bank yesterday because to get extra food a smart move for me because there's nothing wrong with getting food at the food bank and trying to save your money on food if they're giving it away for free you know so I decided to go to the food bank yesterday and they gave me a, a lot of food um, I was trying to help them out trying to be helpful as I can like nobody doesn't appreciate nothing always complaining like I'm getting sick of it they're so freaking selfish like I need to get a little bit of money like I'm trying to survive yo pay my rent I'm not obligated to pay anything else but my rent stayed at people's houses before in Pittsburgh and they didn't charge me anything. A Christian lady, when I was younger, I stayed at her house and everything. She was helping me.
I don't even care if I freeze. It's freaking cold out. I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> And I gave her the um the bowl because I thought I was getting a dog. She was like, oh, I don't want that bowl. Like, I don't want it. Like, it's ridiculous. And then she told me to go shopping the other day to use a card to use it up. Um, so I took the card and went shopping about healthy stuff. Mostly healthy items, fruit and stuff like that. Um, and she's saying, oh, we didn't get you no junk food. Well, next time I won't use your card anymore. You can get your own food. Complaining about things. I don't want to be stuck in people's um, contrary when they say they can do something, use something of theirs. That's why I don't use nothing of theirs. Because they say something, oh, you can use this, and then act a different way afterwards. And mainly I use my own dishes because that's how I am. Like, I have my little special dishes I like to use. That's just like, I don't know if it's my disorder, but I just have my special dishes I, I use. I like to use in my room. I keep them in my room. Nothing of being funny or nothing. I just, I like to use my certain little dishes I like to use. I hardly ever use ever their dishes. I got my own special cup too. Oh my God, as I said, um, I'll keep you updated on what goes on. Um, like even her caregiver was like, she's treating you like a child. You need to like step your ground. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, guys, I have to go. Bye.